everyone and welcome back. Today it's a bit grey, uh, it's not very nice. We brought the horses in early and they're having a, a lunch and a snuggle down, so all's well. There's a few jobs which when I was away, um, as you can see, a little bit of maintenance and there are those jobs in between doing the improvements of the gutters, repairing the roofs, tiles and stuff. There's just the general uh, bits and pieces. And resting here is a very, very interesting uh, piece of history or two pieces of history, which is to do with the house. And in a later video, Mummy Moon and I are gonna tell you some really exciting stuff about our magical home. So lots to look forward to. In the meantime, we're gonna get on um, and repair this hole. Um, and that was where Epilan, you might have seen in a previous video, he was clipped, Mummy Moon clipped all his hair off because he was getting a bit hot and bothered where the weather had gone from being the summer, they get their woolly winter coats, which is that thick coat. Um, and he had that, but he was getting all unnecessary because the weather changed from being what we expected to be winter and a cold snap to then being very, very mild. And he was uncomfortable and he was sort of rubbing about and he pinged a few planks off. Subsequently, Mummy Moon clipped him and he's much happier. And we, like I said before, we can control the temperature by changing or adjusting the amount of rugs they have on. Cantho has been doing really well, but we just noticed yesterday in the field, he's found a really nice bush, which he started to rub on because very quickly, again, the temperature has gone from being cold to being mild. So he's not being able to regulate his own body temperature. And that is, as I mentioned before, something to do when you get a bit older, as we all do, humans, horses, animals in general, uh, find it harder to control their body temperature. So we can help them. I think we're gonna have to give him a shave. So look forward to that, if that happens in the very near future. In the meantime, let's get on and do some repairing. Mummy Moon is now being camera woman and prop, uh, holding the wagon wheel up. Um, and this one over here, I just need to get away. I'm not gonna be able to do it perfectly because they're tongue and groove um, and they're fixed at either end and without demounting it all, but I will be able to do a fairly decent repair and we'll, well, he won't have a big as peep hole as he's got now. So let's get on with it. wet day continues but it's certainly a lot brighter now i'm with the legend the superstar the one and only epilan de fouquet you might have seen him in the video that jenny put out yesterday of him jumping the big wall it wasn't with me unfortunately as much as i'd love to have been riding him uh, at that level at that time in his life it was uh, another very very uh, good supporter true supporter of legacy of legends his former rider ben mayer who is an olympian he's a european champion as well he's now in the top 10 in the world and has been for some time he's pretty good uh, and he's given a lovely quote of support saying how nice it is that uh, he's been married or he's been put back together with his old partner Epilan and what we're doing is a good thing. Um, and obviously that goes without saying, what we're doing and what we want to do is change the sport forever. We don't want to point fingers and there is no, it's not a blame game. It just so happens that as we said, his owner before, she sadly uh, lost her husband and she was a, 
at that horrible time in her life didn't know what way to go and didn't have any options and there was nothing in place to protect him from ending up in any situation and as it was his story continued we found him and the rest is history but that's what we're trying to do is put this law or legislation in place to not point fingers at anyone but to protect the sport and all the other equestrian sports it's been done in the racing game it's been done with greyhounds there are models and it is successful and it can it's proven to be successful and work we just want to get it across for the elite equestrian sports and there are many if you look under the fei which is the Federation Equestrian International, they have many disciplines. So you have eventing, you have show jumping, you have dressage, you have all these different disciplines where these elite horses are the ones we're trying to protect. So that's fundamentally what we're going for first. And once that's in place, I'm sure many, many animals, many horses around the world will benefit from these true legends. And just to think now that in his day, even now, He's a legend and he's spreading the word and he's helping us push it forward along with you guys. So we're very, very humbled to to have him um, and what a what a privilege to, to have known him. And now to think that, as I say, and Jenny touched on it, Mummy Moon touched on it with me the other day, saying that you think they're still, well, they are making change at this time in their life. So, yeah, fantastic great story and um, we're just going to keep pushing on. We're just keeping out of the rain and we are back in what is going to be the beautiful feed room. Here we have the new purchase which was the hose pipe you saw yesterday. A few people commented and said why didn't we get the automatic one. I did say yesterday it's because of the environment. So with the automatic one we had one before but when you pulled it and it went back in even if you washed it on the way back in it got debris, it did get mucked up and eventually, or quite quickly actually, it gave up the ghost. The other bonus about this is we can move it around the property so we can use it anywhere because we do have various taps around. And then on top of that, it can be washed off and then put somewhere safe so it's out the way of the horses and all the other animals, kids, etc. But also it's not going to freeze and it's not going to be bolted onto the wall where a horse could or someone could catch it so this is the best option for us we're very very happy so tomorrow we're going to when it's not absolutely teaming it down we're going to um, get it all in position so really good thank you very much the other thing we've got is the post whacker the big red thing which i knocked the posts in with before you guys and before we got we're getting the support we had to go and borrow one off a friend of ours that's no longer the case we've got our own one so again just those things that are all starting to happen behind the scenes little things here and there which make a massive difference so thank you again we're going to go and get inside and have some uh, tea and um, yeah we'll catch up with you later <laughs>